In this video, we'll see an example of an application problem involving linear functions. Here's the problem. A cereal company finds that if it spends $40,000 in advertising, then 100,000 boxes of cereal will be sold. And if it spends $60,000, then 200,000 boxes will be sold. So the first part of the question is asking us to write a linear equation that relates the amount A spent on ads to the number X of boxes sold. One of the first important steps in a problem like this is to identify which of our two variables is playing the role of the x variable and which of our variables is playing the role of the y variable. Since one of our variables is already called x, it's going to be easier to think of the a variable as the y variable. Although for this particular problem, actually either one of our variables could be the x or the y. But it's important to make that distinction early on so that you don't mix it up and change your mind later on and then you'll get confused. So how will we find this linear equation? Well, we have two different types of forms of linear equations. We've got point slope and we have slope intercept. But both of those involve slope. So the first thing we should do is find the slope of this line and then see where that gets us. If we reread the plot problem carefully, the information that they're giving us is giving us two points that we can use to find the slope. So the first piece of information says, if the company spends $40,000 on advertising, then 100,000 boxes of cereal will be sold. Since x is the number of boxes sold, that means the x-coordinate of our point is 100,000. And since y is the amount spent on ads, then $40,000 is going to be our y-value. Similarly, the rest of the information in the problem, which is that the company spends $60,000, then 200,000 boxes will be sold. That tells us that the other point that we're given is 200,000, 60,000. And if we want to find the slope of this line, then the slope is the difference in the y values divided by the difference in the x values. So in this case, that's going to work out to be 60,000 minus 40,000. And remember, we want to keep our x values in the same order that we chose our y values. So on the bottom, we'll have 200,000 minus 100,000. So on the top, that's 20,000. And on the bottom, that's 100,000. And so that works out to be 0.2. And if we wanted to assign units to this, and, and this will be important a little later, remember that on the top, these are dollars. And on the bottom, these are boxes. And so the units in this slope is dollars per box. And we'll think about how to interpret that a little later. Okay, so finding the slope of our line is an important first step, but we're not quite done. We want to find an equation of this line. So which form should we use? Should we use point slope or should we use slope intercept? Well, we don't actually have the y-intercept of this line. Remember that the y-intercept is a point whose x-coordinate is zero, and neither of our points has an x-coordinate of zero. So we shouldn't try to use the slope-intercept form. Instead, let's use point-slope. Remember that point-slope, the form is y minus y naught equals m times x minus x naught. We, we can use either one of our points to find this equation, so let's just go ahead and use the first point. Our m is 0.2. For the first point, our x naught is 100,000. Our variable name is actually a, not y, so I'll change the y to an a. And then our y naught is the y value of our first point, which is 40,000. It's okay if you leave that called y, but it really should be called a. The problem is telling us that the amount variable is called a, so we should use the names that they want us to use. So a minus 40,000 equals 0.2x. And then when I distribute my 0 0.2, 0 0.2 times 100,000 is 20,000. And then I'm going to add 40,000 to both sides, and I get A equals 0.2x plus 20,000. And that's the equation we were looking for. Okay, so now for the second part of our problem. They want to know how much advertising is needed to sell 300,000 boxes of cereal. Well, remember that our relationship is a equals 0.2x plus 20,000. And remember that a is the amount of money that we spend, 
and x is the number of boxes of cereal that we're going to sell. So for this question, the 300,000 gets plugged in for the x, because the x is the number of boxes. So what we get is a equals 0.2 times 300,000 plus 20,000. And then all we have to do is compute that. So 0 0.2 times 300,000 works out to be 60,000. And then 60,000 plus 20,000 works out to be 80,000. And the units here are dollars, because A is the amount of money that we spend, and we know those are the units we use for that variable. And that's it. Okay, for the last part of this problem, we're asked to interpret the slope of our linear function. And remember that when we computed that, we thought about the units, and this is where that's going to pay off. So it was 0.2 dollars per box. Now there's a subtle point here that we want to make sure we make. So this does not tell us how much we have to spend for each box we want to sell. Instead, what it tells us is the rate at which we have to spend money for each additional box we want to sell. So if we're currently selling 100,000 boxes and we want to sell 100,001 boxes, then how much more money do we have to spend to do that? The answer is $0.2, in other words, 20 cents. So it's dollars per, sometimes we'll use the word additional box. So slope is always telling us a rate of change, which tells us how much we need to change our y value based on a change of 1 on the x value. So in other words, slope tells us whenever x increases by 1, this is how much y increases by. So if we want to sell one additional box of cereal, this is how much more money on advertising we have to spend. So feel free to use your own words to write this out, but we could say something like, we must spend 20 cents additional, $2.2 additional money on advertising for each additional box we want to sell.